Now on the previous video, we had three equations um, that we got down to where we worked out that they met along a line. So the, the planes intersected along a line and gave us infinitely many solutions. Now when that happens, um, that's referred to as the equations being dependent. And we can find a linear combination of those equations, which means you can combine two of the equations to make the third one. And you can do it with any two. Any two would be able to make the third one in some way. So we can go one step further and actually work out what that linear combination would be. So what we're looking for is 1 multiplied by something plus 2 multiplied by something equals a multiple of 3. So um, what we can do is say we're going to do equation number 1 times by a, equation number 2 times by b, and if we add them together we will get equation number three. Now from there we can match up uh, the x's, y's and z's to work out what a has to be to make that true. So if we look at the x's, for the x coefficients, we get a plus 11b is equal to three. On the y's, we get 3a plus 57b is equal to one. So we've got two simultaneous equations and we can solve them using equation solver on the graphics calculator. Um, so if I put solve in there, we get that A was six and two thirds and B is negative one third from that equation solver. We'll do a quick check. So check that the Z's column works out as well. So we should have 2a plus 34b will be equal to 2. So 2 times 6 and 2 thirds plus 34 times negative a third. Yes, that does come to 2. You can also check these constant terms um, in the final column and they also work out fine. So we found the linear combination and it is that if we do equation number one times six and two thirds minus equation number two times a third, we will get equation number three.